Hi everyone, today I am going to tell you a short story from Mahabharata and the name of the story is Jayadratha Patha. So let me begin. When Arjun came to know the death of his son uh, Abhimanyu, he lost his sense. He became senseless and when he got back his sense, he roared like a liar and loudly he announced he all oh, the noble people, those who are present here, just listen to my bhav. Tomorrow morning, before the sunset, if I will not slay the Sindhu king Jayadratha, then I will enter myself into the burning fire. This is my bhav. The news spread like wildfire within few minutes and all the armies which both Kauravas and Pandavas side and all of them who got this news were terrified because they knew Parth. So next day morning Arjun then said, O Lord Krishna, Move our chariot in the speed of wind so that I can slay Jayadratha. O Kesava, you know that if I cannot slay him today before the sunset, then I have to enter into the fire. Then Lord Krishna smiled. The next moment he drove the chariot in such a way that nobody could come to know where Arjun was. And Arjun rushed into the vast Kaurava army and started releasing his arrows furiously. Here, looking at Arjuna's terrible form, Duryodhan came to Karna and said, O oh Karna, look at Arjun. He looks so terrible today. Now, we have to save uh, King Jayadratha and go Karna, show your manliness, show your strength today, go and fight with Arjun and kill him and go Karna, if somehow we can save Jayadratha uh, till evening, then Arjun will enter into the fire, he will die. O oh, Karna, once Arjun dies, then the other Pandavas and their followers are nothing. They will also die. And O oh, Karna, they are, we will have all the three worlds, these mountains, this forest, these rivers, everything will be ours, all the prosperity. So O oh, Karna, go and fight with Path. Hearing his words, Karna said, O king, O monarch, look at my body. My body is totally pierced, a net network of arrows which was released by Bhim Sen. And my body is severely paining. But O lord, O king, I am going to fight with Arjun and I will kill him today. Do not worry for that. My life is only for you. Thus he spoke and went to fight with Arjun. Duryodhan here ran to protect Jayadratha. Not only Duryodhan, Dronacharya, Kripacharya, Sastama, Bhirsena and uh, Salya, Dusasan also, they all stood before Jayadratha so that Arjun will not be able to reach at him. Here Arjun mercilessly killed the army troops and he was moving in such a way that the, uh, the soldiers were confused where he was. Means if one time Arjun was in one side, the other time he was in the other direction. And he scattered the network of arrows every direction. 
he just shot the arrows uh, in such a way that the whole sky was covered with the arrows of Arjun and raging fire. And it seemed as if the meteors were falling down from the sky. They never saw such fireful and powerful battle of Arjun. And Arjun cut the cut off the head of the charioters, the horse riders, and even he just shattered the uh, chamaras, the umbrellas, the armors. Everything was rolling down on the scatter on the ground. And the ground was also completely filled with the fresh blood of the soldiers and the warriors. Nobody could be saved from Arjun that time. And he took a terrible form, just like the death of God, uh, sorry, the God of death. He stood in the battlefield to just to eliminate all the creatures. Then Arjun looked at the area where Jayadratha was hiding and all the six, seven uh, great warriors, they stood in a circular way so that uh, Arjun can't come to Jayadratha. But without any care, means though Karna was fighting with uh, Arjun and there was a uh, terrible fight between, combat between this Arjun and Path, yet Arjun killed the charioter of Karna and the horses too. And without chariot, without the charioter, Karna rushed to Aswasthama's chariot. Looking at Arjuna's rushing towards Jayadratha, all these warriors, they just made a circle and uh, attacked Arjun at a time. Not only Arjun, they also attacked Lord Krishna. They just released their arrows to uh, Krishna also. And at that time, he attended all the six great warriors dancing on the terrace of his chariot. And even they couldn't see which time Arjun was moving his hand to the arrows, to the bows and releasing them. They were stunned. The really, the lightness of his hand. And Arjun was tremendously and ferociously uh, fighting with these six warriors. At that time, the sun was moving towards the western horizon very quickly. Looking at that, Lord Krishna said, O oh Arjun, this is not the time to defeat all these six warriors. If you do that, you cannot reach at uh, Jayadratha. So better I will use my yogic prowess so that the whole sky with the sun will be covered and with the darkness and they will think that the sun is safe. By that they will keep aside their weapons and Jayadratha will come out and take that chance. Do not lose it. Take that opportunity. Arjun understood and immediately said, so it be my Lord. And immediately Lord Krishna used, created his yogic, yogic prowess and the whole sky was covered with darkness. And the Kauravas means all this uh, Duryodhan, Krupacharya, Dronacharya, Karna, Aswastama, overwhelmed with joy. He look, it is evening now. And we saved Jayadratha. Arjun couldn't kill him. Now Arjun is going to die, enter into the fire. When they shot like this, at that time, or Lord Krishna said, and Jayadratha also came to the front side. He was hiding behind them. Now he came to the front side. Now Lord Krishna said, 
O Arjun grabbed the chance and immediately Arjun, uh, yes, Lord Krishna also told him, Ki, O Arjun, slay his, uh, slay Jayadratha and after that you arrange the arrows in such a way so that they will carry the head and put it on the lap of his father who was doing evening prayer. Because if the head will fall on the ground, the cause of uh, that person will uh, will lose his head, means his head will break into thousand pieces. So you don't become the cause, you just carry the, uh, let the arrows carry the head and put it on his father's lap. And Arjun understood what Krishna told him and he just stretched his Gandiva mouth and took a uh, divine weapon chanting the mantras. He released the arrow in such a way without knowing, without anybody's knowledge that arrow cut off the head of Jayadratha and the other arrows carried the head and put it on the lap of his father who was doing evening prayer in the forest. But unfortunately his father couldn't see that and he stood up for some reason to offer something and when the head fell on the ground immediately his father's head broke into thousand pieces. Here, after slaying, Krishna immediately removed the darkness, his illusion. And the Pandavas, uh, the, the uh, Kauravas means uh, Duryodhan, Dronacharya and others, Karna, they saw that it was not evening, still sun is there. And Duryodhan started crying aloud, how it could be possible. In the presence of all of us, how Arjun could kill, how Arjun could slay Jayadratha. None of us could save him. He just cried loudly like a child. And here Arjun and Lord Krishna, they blew the conch loudly so that King Yudhishthir could come to know their victory. In Pandava's side, everybody became so happy. And in uh, Kaurava's side, they were just lamenting. Anyhow, this much is the story. But the thing is that Lord Krishna is nothing but the incarnation of Vishnu. So whenever there is a dharma, he takes his incarnation to save the dharma. And like that, he always, he even said once that I, have, I am already mingled with the Pandavas because they were virtuous, they are the followers of dharma. And here, whatever Duryodhana was getting, he was only getting because of his misdeeds. This much is the story. And once again I will meet you with another sensational story of Mahabharata. Thank you so much.